This is the rubberscopic aerial. Call that because it's rubberized and it's uh, telescopic. It's a quarter wave on 70 sems when it's down, and it's three quarters on 70 sems when it's up. And it's a quarter wave on two meters when it's up. And so if you're transmitting on two meters, you want to make sure that it's always fully extended for the best SWR uh, performance. But on 70 sems, you can have it in either position. Uh, G3Y PQ testing. That's Carrollton Hill. And works well on 70 with the aerial up as a three quarter or down as a quarter wave. It's about 25 miles away, so that's pretty good performance. Certainly better than the stock aerials that come with these sets. Now another feature of the, uh, of the aerial is that you can just expose a little bit of metal. What this aerial does effectively is put metal in the sky where it belongs. But if I, for example, tune to a medium wave channel, uh, then the performance is pretty poor. But if you just take a piece of wire with a clip, with a uh, crop clip on about 10 foot of wire or so, and just clip it onto the metal at the end, makes all the difference. And suddenly, you know, just 10 feet of wire on short wave, as well as on uh, medium wave AM, makes all the difference. And it's very easy to do when you just expose a bit of metal like that. Now being telescopic it means you can actually set it to a wide range of frequencies depending on the length. So if I take it down by one section it'll be resonant there say on the marine band, 156 megs. And the further you go down, higher in frequency, say 250 megs about there, uh, this band has the uh, satellites 24,000 miles away that tend to get... Now that signal is coming 24,000 miles from a satellite over the Atlantic. The ones that the Brazilians tend to use and pirate. Uh, so with an aerial resonance at that frequency, it just helps with those weak signals. Further up you go, military air band, and finally, all the way to 70 cents. Now the rubberscopic aerial comes with a standard fitting, which is an SMA male. That's probably the most common uh, you'll find. But in case your radio has got the pin on the radio side rather than the antenna side, I can supply a little back-to-back -back joiner uh, for an extra pound, uh, which will just uh, enable you to fit it onto that type of radio. All purchases come with a little rubber O-ring, which just makes up the difference, if needed, between the aerial and the radio. That just helps it all sit in nicely. Useful for all sorts of things. You can conduct orchestras with it or you can point to things on blackboards. So there you have it, a tenner each, or two for 15 pounds. I mean, what a bargain, that's post free in the United Kingdom. Anyway, all the best, hope you enjoyed that from Phil, G3YPQ.